The first thing that I did when I came back from China last December was to short into Tesla in Jan this year. The second thing that I did when I came back was to short into Apple after I've shot a Tesla. Right, this video will talk about what I've seen in Apple in China, two places I went to, Changsha and Shanghai, and why I shot Apple, and to back up with some of the stock charts as well as, you know, also Buffett is selling as well. When I was in Changsha, I went to Apple shop at uh, near to this uh, Wuyi Guangchang. So this place is the hot spot. That means that most of the Changsha people will spend their Saturdays, Sundays there, the weekend day there, right? What I saw was that many people, many young people, about uh, age 20 to maybe 30 plus, they were in the Apple shop. So almost every uh, space, right, in Apple shop, they were fill up. But they wasn't buying. They were actually browsing and playing with the phones, with the iPad, uh, and even talked to one uh, young young girl. I think she was probably 25 years old. She said that she wasn't employed. She can't find a job for a long time. She's just here to pass time, and she's just here to play with Apple phone, iPhone 15. And of course, she made the remark that there is no way that she can afford to buy one. Right. So I went around the um, Apple shop and then saw that there were more uh, stuff uh, you know, in the shop and there were even more people browsing only. Okay, so that's what I saw in Changsha. And I went to Shanghai and I spent about two hours there. But, you know, I think it's enough for me to pick up some small little clues. Uh, as well as uh, it's not as crowded because I didn't go there during the weekends. But I was there uh, during working hours. Of course, less crowded. Uh, probably about uh, one third or one quarter of the people that I saw in Changsha. But... They wasn't buying, they were there to fix their gadgets, either to fix their iPhone 15 that's cracked or to fix some 40 uh, MacBook and iPad. So there are more people there uh, waiting for Apple staff to, to help them to fix their gadgets, the Apple gadgets. Okay, so very little sales in the two hours that I was there. You can say that uh, if you compare to Huawei shop, there are less people in a Huawei shop, but at least, you know, the cash register, they are still taking away. People are still buying in a Huawei shop, but not in an Apple uh, shop. I can't say that people are not buying, but we, you would expect more sales, right? But you don't really see a lot there. Okay, so this is uh, probably the one of the reason why in this headline here it says that Apple China iPhone sales plunged twenty four percent in the first six weeks of year. Because during the first six weeks of the uh, year, you know, that's where people would be feeling festive and they want to buy either for Christmas or either for Chinese New Year. And especially Chinese New Year is a huge event in China, but people are not really buying. And I think that is an industry wide thing. Uh, more like uh, China economy. Is isn't really doing very well. There are more unemployment here. It tasked affected the Apple sales as well. Okay, but it doesn't really explain why Huawei sales moved up too. If you say that this is the overall Chinese economy conditions, all right. Uh, so let's take a look at the stock charts and the place where I've shorted Apple and also some of the key levels we should taking note. Let's take a look at Apple chart and where I did my first shot about January twenty fourth. My trades are based on technical levels but they are also from what I've observed. So for example, uh, I came back third week or fourth week of December. Okay, so Apple had a gap here, so it moves down here, but uh, I only want the shot when it's near the high. So I look at this place here as a resistance level. So this was a previous high. So I figure out that if price can move near to the previous high and as well as near to this previous high, right? The risk of shorting it, it's actually very low because that's a technical level. This was a previous high. So I shorted somewhere around here. That's uh, the price of about 190. That was the first shot. And when it came down into this as a support level before the earnings, I closed out the position and uh, shorted again when price moved moves up to the next uh, resistance level. So this was the next resistance level and uh, here was the next time that I've shorted on Apple. Of course, I rely on wash and rinse. So this is the signal that I designed to short it. So all of these will be based on wash and rinse signal. 
So when it came back down, I thought that this was the place uh, that Apple might break this very strong support level. So I hang on for a little while, but it didn't break. And when it moved up a little bit, uh, that's where I square my shot. So I clear my shot lock in my profit. That was about 182 plus minus around there. And uh, I no longer have uh, a short position in, in Apple. But on the 5th of March, that's when the article came out and said that Apple China iPhone sales plunged 24% in the first six weeks of the year. So I was very confident of what I've observed because people wasn't really like buying uh, Apple iPhones in the shop. They wasn't really making purchase and that sort of like gel into what I've observed in the two cities, right? So again, that I shorted this place at Apple again. And uh, then it came uh, uh, moving down and uh, I'll be looking to take profit along this level here. And that's about 167, 65 to 167. But if price should continue to move the below, then I will continue my shot in Apple. Now, if you ask me all in all, the chart of Apple, is it still in an uptrend? I will answer yes. It's just that technically it makes sense to short it. Uh, now, but if if any of the low point it shows a, a support level, then would I still be considering to long Apple? The answer is yes. Uh, I gave you what I've seen in China, even though China doesn't represent everything of Apple or Tesla, but it does affect the sentiment of stock traders, stock investors in Apple. We also saw that Buffett has been selling its Apple shares. It's good. It can be seen as part of his. Uh, I mean, a profit taking, but it does impact the stock price. Okay, I hope that this video is useful for your consideration. If there are other stocks uh, that you would like me to cover to share my insights, and if I do have them, please let me know. I'd be happy to share a chart here and there. And thanks a lot for viewing, and I see you in my next video.